welcome back. Today is actually my last official full day on the island. Uh, we did our graduation this morning for all the participants that took part in the Fulbright uh, mobile app development course in partnership with PTVI Active and the Office of the Prime Minister here on Grand Bahama. Um, first, I want to thank everyone involved with this opportunity for giving me the opportunity not only to kind of um, come down here, enjoy the beautiful weather, beautiful food, everything, but to meet the amazing people who made this possible and uh, meet the amazing students who sat through five weeks of training. I know that I'm, I'm, some, I'm a, I'm a uh, hard teacher, as folks have told me. You know, I felt kind of this, this um, what's the best way to express it? This sense of, I didn't want this to be a lost opportunity. So although I, I pushed the students hard and I gave them a lot of information, I tried my best to give them as much support as possible. A lot of references to additional information because I didn't know the next time that they'd have the opportunity to be in a room with someone who could give them this information that they needed. And so I'd rather provide too much information and let some of it spill over, but we kept track of everything. We had a Slack group, we had a WhatsApp group. I uh, use Notion to document everything that I taught. They have access to all this information. So even if they couldn't get it all in this time, um, they know where to go back and get additional help. And as I've stated in a couple of these other videos, I'm working on um, creating a, a group here that will continue to support folks who wanted to be supported. I'm excited about that. Um, a couple of other points, you know, thank you for the kind words from the minister's office during the graduation. Um, they said a lot of kind words about me and the work that I've done down here. Thank you for the folks from BTVI, A, for the job opportunity that they presented me, which I'll post more about later. Um, and just also the kind words and all the support that they provided. Um, I want to give a special shout out to uh, the TA that I had, uh, Ms. Sandra Cooper. You know, she put a, above and beyond the call of duties to not only support me here on the island and things that I needed to enjoy my stay, but also to make sure that the class ran smoothly and just deal with all the little details so I can focus all my energy on supporting the students. I want a special shout out to Stanton. Stanton. Um, he came and he recorded everything, put a lot of time and extra effort and energy in it to get it, get it right. Um, and, you know, just powered through it. Good job, Stanton. Thank you very much. Uh, who else? As I said, I thank all the students for all the work they did. Um, what's next? Uh, keep keep um, keep an eye out on my social media. I, I will be announcing soon a partnership that I'm creating um, with an individual down here. Uh, we're going to start a company. I'm down here in the Bahamas to focus on education, technology, and uh, mobile app development, web and mobile app development. So we'll, we will be getting that started. Um, as I said, my conversation with BTVI about how I'm going to participate there. It will be forthcoming in a separate post, but my hope is to be able to tie in the work that I'm doing with this other business that I'm created with the educational opportunities at PTVI, which is a combination of theory and practice. Um, the whole idea is, as I said, to increase technical capital here. Uh, extremely special shout out to Raquel Benby Hart. Hopefully I said that correct. Um, she was my first contact here on the island remotely and she has worked tirelessly a to make sure that this program happened b to make sure that i could be part of it and that i could be here and i could enjoy my stay um and see just being an advocate for me and the work that i'm doing i, I felt like when i spoke about what i wanted to do we just kind of clicked they got the vision they understood the vision and they felt that i could be part of it also shout out to um minister crazy thompson um same thing with him you know in my first meeting with him and we just started talking about uh, what he wanted to do here on the island to increase human capital, specifically in tech and innovation space, um, help create jobs, help create businesses. Um, you know, it's we it just resonated with me and, and the things that I said to him about some ideas and approaches resonated with him. Um, and I look forward to continue to work with him to kind of, I don't want to say finish what we started, but just continue down the path and the journey on what we started because we don't know where the finish line is. And finally, the other thing that I want to say, which which makes this program ending even harder for me right now until we get started on the next phase is the feeling that you get that people actually give a shit about you and the work that you're doing and that they value the work that you're doing 
know, even beyond the fact that they paid you, but just that feeling that you get where you know you are being valued, your input is being valued, the time you're spending to help folks is being valued, and it's being appreciated is, is, is amazing. Um, it makes you want to continue to be part of any organization or any team or any individual that gives you that feeling. And like I said, it's beyond, it's beyond financial award. It's something that I always say, you know, working with people who care and who demonstrate to you that they care um, is food for my soul. That's the only expression I could use is food for my soul. And it just motivates me and wants me to continue to be part of it even more and more and more, even probably above and beyond the call of duty. Put the extra hours in, put the extra time in because you, you, you know you're appreciated and you know you're valued. Um, it's the kind of environment that I try to create. It's the kind of feeling that I make to try to give the students when they're in the class that, hey, I care about you, I give a shit about you, I wanna see you be successful and I wanna help you however I can. So please speak up, please ask questions. Um, that's the feeling that I get from all the folks that I've met down here. And that's why I know I'm gonna to continue to work with the Bahamas. And so, um, like I said, stay tuned. You're gonna hear more stuff about Clearly Innovative in the Bahamas or IN3 in the Bahamas or Aaron Saunders in the Bahamas. But the journey has, <laughs> the journey has just begun, as they like to say. So um, thanks everyone for checking in. Hopefully you're enjoying your day. And I'm going to try to get to the beach one last time once it cools down because this sun is hot as hell and I don't want to be out there in all this heat. So I'll probably go a little later. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.